The forever cam case for the Fusion is tough, but can it survive being run over by a minivan? Hi, my name is Mick and you're watching 360 Rumors, the most trusted resource for in-depth 360 camera reviews and innovative techniques. Back to our experiment. The GoPro Fusion. It's probably the best consumer 360 camera right now. But it's not perfect. And one of the big issues with the Fusion is that it's not rugged. Despite being a GoPro, the lens is unprotected. It's completely vulnerable to getting scratched. I even scratched my first Fusion when I was doing my Fusion review. And yes, they have a protection plan, but it costs $60 a year, plus $130 for a deductible if you have to replace it. And on top of that, they don't promise when you're gonna get the replacement. It can take several weeks with no ETA. But now there's a possible solution. It's the Forever Cam. It's an external housing for the Fusion uh, made by a third party that has a replaceable lens cover. Not only that, but it also has a built-in standard quarter 20 tripod hole. We're gonna find out how well the Fusion works and how, how good the vid photos and videos look with the case on. And we're gonna see just how tough this case is by running it over with a minivan. <laughs> Right, uh, feels nice and it's not cheap aluminum, it's it's really the, it's the real thing. And the case is, uh, I'm not sure if it's, it might be plastic, I'm not sure if it's plastic or glass. Move this, so it looks like there are three screws. See, we'll have to remove this, so here's how. Lift up, take these flaps. Slide, they slide off. Oh, it fits perfectly. It's like not super snug, but like you know, fits like a glove. And all right, so already I can see that there will be glare. Definitely significantly heavier than without the case. I'll attach it. Oh, so sweet. So I love how I don't have to use a GoPro mount for this. Really hope this works. GoPro, take a photo. All right, let's check out the shots. Here's the video with the Forever Cam case. With Forever Cam case. Man, I really wanted it to work. On second thought, I think Ooh. flare could be a more important limitation. Lots of glare. But, you know, let's render it anyway. Wow. Way better. I mean, it's not perfect, but definitely usable. I mean, uh, yeah. There's like some waviness there, but uh, the stitching itself looks okay. on the other side and you can see the power lines are not um, in line with each other but yeah so not definitely not as good as um, just like a bare fusion but to me it looks usable um, 
and it actually looks pretty good. But on this side, the other side, yeah, there's like a little bit of vignetting and there's like a, some stitching issues in the power lines. Um, and this, the other side looks pretty clean. So that's another alternative, like you could keep the case on and then only use the lens cover when the situation warrants it. But if it's like a pretty safe situation, we can remove the, we can uh, uh, unscrew the lens covers and use it just with the case. And just with without the lens covers, it's close enough, I think, to um, like a bare fusion. Um, although I noticed that the sound isn't as good. You know, it looks, it sounds muffled. And, I'm not surprised because you saw the holes on top weren't really lined up with the uh, microphones on the Fusion. So now that we've taken a look at the photos and videos, what do I think? Well, you know, I wish there were uh, less issues with it, but overall, I would probably keep it. I, I yeah, I'm gonna keep it because there are just some situations where. Um, you know, you, you want to shoot something with a fusion, but there's a very high risk of it getting damaged. And that kind of situation, I'd rather put up with those, like, you know, waviness in the stitching at certain distances. I'd rather put up with that than lose the fusion. So, yeah, overall, I think it's a keeper. And um, I would recommend it as long as you know the limitations. Now, um, I think we're done. Uh, I'm just kidding. I know why you clicked that thumbnail. It's time for the crush test. So forever, Cam. Do you think you're tough? Huh? You think you're tough? How tough are you? Are you tough enough for a minivan? Cement. It's not soil. This is a real test. I have no idea if it's going to survive. We'll find out. It's alive! It's alive! Well, one thing I haven't tested is overheating. I'll update my findings on my Forever Cam review page. See the link in the description. You'll also see the actual sample photos and videos. Now my next video is going to be an epic 360 camera review. I was actually going to finish it last weekend, but instead I got sidetracked by doing a 360 camera comparison. Now which camera am I reviewing? Let's keep that a surprise. But don't miss it. Hit subscribe and the alert bell. And I'll see you in 360.